Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and Mayor PBC is going to show you in this replay exactly how to use the 87. Now, I've already done a full tank review on the 87, but if I hadn't, I would basically use this replay. That is how well Mayor is going to play in this game, in my opinion. Well, arguably, how much skill can you have in a tank that's limited to 20 kilometers an hour? Doesn't have a turret. It really doesn't have that much flexibility to outplay its opponents. However, Mare is going to do everything right that you need to in the 87. Now, if you haven't watched my full tank review on the 87, let me just give you a rundown of what you really need to know about this tank. As Mare puts in a clutch shot there. So the 87 has a gun, a 20-pounder. This is a very competitive gun for a Tier 7 tank. It's pretty competitive even on a tier 9 medium, and it has the same rate of fire if you do mount this on the 87, roughly, give or take, as when you mount it on the Centurion 7-1. Now, as the gun is mounted on the right, unfortunately, Mayor's armor didn't hold up there, and he takes an absolutely huge shell. Look at what he's doing here. He's hiding the majority of his tank and only showing his gun. What he's also doing, which is very important, is he's hiding the top of his tank, this gigantic vulnerable weak point. As he sticks his gun around this right-hand corner, he really leaves the enemies very little room to be able to, to take him out. And his 20-pounder, even with its standard rounds, is more than enough to give this KV-4 an absolute run for its money. Now check out the rate of fire on this. 230 alpha damage with this kind of rate of fire? Yes, please. I was a bit unlucky that lost shot didn't miss. The KV-4 went full Neo and managed to avoid it. But he's already managed to 955 damage to this KV-4. Make that 1,178. And 2,300 damage overall. With a few good shots into the Panther, I believe the Lorraine as well, and of course that first shot into their scout tank. Oh, I didn't quite have the reactions there, it was a close one. It's a shame as well because that 5120 is a very important target. Thankfully the 5120 decides to come back for more, and he realizes, and that's a tier 9 heavy tank, realizing this is not a very good idea to be shooting an 87 when I can only see its gun. Now of course, this limits the 87 to only <laughs> engaging tanks this effectively when they are sort of around a left-hand corner or when you have a wall to the left of your tank. You can't achieve that, and this definitely isn't possible at all. So right now, the battle is ongoing. I'm just going to quickly show you what I was talking about with regards to how hard it would have been for the enemy tanks to be able to shoot Mare in that position. So let's go to roughly where the KV-4 was. And we'll look for Mare. It's going to be quite tricky to see. And we're also going to zoom in. There we go. That looks like a complete alien of a tank, really, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't look... Doesn't... <laughs> If I was to see that, of course, when you put your your sort of your gun pointer over the enemy tank, you'll see the outline clearly there. That doesn't really matter. If you're around this corner, all you need to know is that that is some very thick 87 armor. And unless you can see the weak point on the enemy tank, i.e. on the 87, the top bit, this whole... R2-D2 droid on top of the 87. That's what you really need to know to be able to take it out. So we join Mare shooting at a Carnarvon. And he is going to have an epic duel with this Carnarvon. So he's trying to shoot the Carnarvon's turret outside of the mantlet. The mantlet is the thick part and he's trying to shoot the cheeks and the top. And he's being... Uh, a gentleman with regards to the fact that he isn't firing APCR. The APCR penetration on this tank is 258, which isn't very much. 
look at this Yag Panther. The Yag Panther almost doesn't want to shoot him. The Yag Panther still doesn't want to shoot him. The Yag Panther gives up, trying to find a place to penetrate. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know. I think the Yag Panther was putting his mouse cursor over the 87 and just going, "Oh, I can't pen it." Oh, I'll try and shoot the T28 prototype in the in the back. And then gives his flank to the 87. And look how fast the 87 shoot up that Yag Panther. 850 damage in basically no time. Carnarvon, however, seems to know where to put shots into the 87. But Mare's going to chase him down. And this pose a little... Oh, he's going to be able to get his gun around the corner. Oh, no! He puts one shot into him. The Carnarvon pulls back, not knowing how wide the gun arc is on the 87. Carnarvon retracts him. And retracts him. He's holding him in place. He must be praying that someone on his team is able to give him a helping hand. And he retracks him again, but this time, Mayor was able to get the track up a little bit and turn his gun slightly more to the left. Oh, the timing difference is very, very, very close. This is one of the reasons why I like to use a full repair crew in the 87. Mayor decides he's had enough and he uses his repair kit. Blasts around the corner. The Carnarvon tracks him. Ah, oh, but Mayor puts off a clutch shot into the fermented goat who shows just how much of a bitter princess he is in the chat with the kind of language he uses. That must be very satisfying for Mare to be able to win that duel against a tier A heavy tank. So Mare is now up to 4,300 damage. Even if he was to die now, this would be a, an amazing game for the 87. Doing it like an 87 should, going headfirst into the enemy, taking your chances, he manages to penetrate the bird man. My opinion, that shot was uh, a little lucky. Did just shoot straight at the front plate of the bird man, but he probably didn't have time to aim. And here we see a full health IS-2. <laughs> Mez going to do exactly the same thing again. Show only his gun to the enemy. Burst is about. The IS-2 seems stunned. The IS-2 is like, ah, it's okay, I've got all my health. This guy's got no health. I'll just aim my next shot. And I'll let him shoot me um, over and over and over again. And he's like, oh my god, this thing's doing so much damage to me so quickly. What the hell is this tank? Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, Mayor. Okay, Mayor. You just showed everyone how brutal the DPM is on the 87. And that last fire, after so many shots into the lower plate of the IS-2, which I found personally, most of the Chinese tanks and their fuel tanks go up very quickly if you manage to hit them in the lower plate over and over again. Now we have a duel against another full health tier 7 heavy tank. A tiger this time. Let's see if the German's able to do what the uh, Chinese tank was incapable of. Or incapable of. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's dueling with, over the wreck of his uh, elder brother, so to say. This AT-15 is the, uh, the tier 8 British tank destroyer. And he's giving it this to this tiger right now. The tiger's already down to 40%. The tiger bounces. And he knows he can fire two for every time the tiger fires. Oh, that was a bit of a lucky one. But he secures the game at the end. Holy moly. Wow, man, this was... This was absolutely crazy. The balls the mayor showed there at the end, just relying on the strengths of his tank. It didn't matter that he was 
one versus a tier eight tank destroyer and two tier seven heavies that were on full health. He just kept calm and put his tank into the strongest position that he possibly could and basically used the strengths of the 87. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not defending the actions of our IS2 friend driver over there. I'm not defending this guy's actions. And neither am I defending the actions of our Tiger tank. They both undoubtedly made some <laughs> catastrophic errors which resulted in their team losing the game. They could have very easily maybe gone at him together. Not a hero run by the Ferdinand, followed by an IS-2 just sitting there allowing the AT-7 to shoot him in the lower plate over and over again until he burnt to death. And then our hero Tiger who decided that, well, maybe they were all lulled into a false sense of security. Maybe they thought that Mare, because he only had one shot left, well, his armor can't be that good, can it? I won't take anything away from Mare. I'll be it the, the quality of his opponents were not as strong as they probably could have been. He did absolutely everything right in this endgame situation. When he was outnumbered, he went straight at the enemy and tried to catch them one by one by one, allowing him to pick up the win and gain an absolutely fantastic result when he was outnumbered. Mayor, thank you so much for this replay. This was one of the best ones I've seen in a while. And I'm going to be sending you... 2,500 gold to make your victory just that little bit sweeter. So let's just take a quick look at the post-game stats. So this replay happened a week ago. Mare picked up the high caliber medal, the steel wall and the confederate. And don't be confused, this is not a double. This has no bonus experience attributed to it. This is a 2,284 base game experience in the 87. That's absolutely monstrous and it's amazing that he was able to get two, sorry, 7,200 damage and not even get a top gun, but he did get the confederate medal. Now the potential damage that Mare received was 4,000, the damage that was blocked by armor was 2,960. And if this replay has sparked an interest for you in the 87, then I do have a full tank review that is available. This is one of those tanks that I repurchased a crew for and kept it. I wasn't really too fussed about the 8015. And the Tortoise, where is, is a good tank. And I might rebuy it one day. Really, when I played the 87, I had some of my best results in this tank. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's think about going and checking that out if you're interested. I'll put a link down below in the description for you. Anyway, just another massive thank you to Mayor PBC. This is a fantastic replay. Thank you so much for submitting it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please consider rating it down below. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know what you think about the 87 in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic, and hopefully I'll see you soon.